dependent origination. On delusion depend the karma formations. On the karma formations depends consciousness, starting with rebirth consciousness in the womb of the mother. On consciousness depends the mental and physical existence. On the mental and physical existence depend the six sense organs. On the six sense organs depends on the sensory impression. On the sensory impression depends feeling. On feeling depends craving. On craving depends clinging. On clinging depends the process of becoming. On the process of becoming here, karma process depends rebirth. On rebirth depend decay and death, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair. Well, it's not really rebirth when your body's processed and something else picks that up, but you know, from death comes life. Thus arises this whole mass of suffering. This is called the noble truth of the origin of suffering. In Kum, however, delusion has disappeared and wisdom arisen. Such a disciple heaps up neither meritorious nor demeritorious nor imperturbable karma formations. Karma is cause and effect and what's going on at the time. Um, because obviously everything material is karmic. Thus, through the entire fading away and extinction of this delusion, the karma formations are extinguished. Through the extinction of the karma formations, consciousness rebirth is extinguished. Through the extinction of consciousness, the mental and physical existence is extinguished. Through the extinction of the mental and physical existence, the six sense organs are extinguished. Through the extinction of the six sense organs, the sensory impression is extinguished. Through the extinction of the sensory impression, feeling is extinguished. Through the extinction of feeling, craving is extinguished. Through the extinction of craving, clinging is extinguished. Through the extinction of clinging, the process of becoming is extinguished. Through the extinction of the process of becoming, rebirth is extinguished. Through the extinction of rebirth, decay and death, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair extinguished. Thus takes place the extinction of this whole mass of suffering. This is called the noble truth of the extinction of suffering. <clears throat>